find out how you're going to sell your music, um, promote your brand. So instead of paying people to do my own videos, or do my own blogs, or I just do it myself. But it's TV film is bigger than just music videos because everybody's shooting music videos. So I'm doing TV film, viral shows, news, stuff like that. Shade 45 radio, we just yeah. play Shade 45. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, working marketing, baby. And uh, uh, we 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 ask you a question. Um, so like for the content that you choose, does it does it mean anything to the audience, or is it just random clippings, or what? What do you mean? Does it do mean you, anything to the audience? Like, or like, are you like when 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 you watch your shows? Mm -hmm. I like I see it and I see things, and certain times I see messages. And is um, there a meaning to it? Yes. Yeah, it's a big point to it. And trying to get people to see the bigger picture. Kind of giving game and knowledge at the same time that some people think I shouldn't even be given anyways. But it's like if, if your city lost, um, you gotta people gotta read they what what they say they put stuff in books and but it's like okay, well a lot of people on the internet, so let's put that message on the internet viral. Because it's all about the come up. I don't feed all the drama. I'm trying to build something instead of trying to tear down. Okay. So it's a lot of me. Okay. It's a lot of hidden messages on there that come to light. Okay. Okay. Well, um, tell us about the things that you have coming up here in the near future. Magazine. Got the magazine 2015. Bottle Pop City 2015. Short film 2015. I was talking about the near future. I mean, we know that's oh, coming, coming up. up soon. Yeah. I mean, oh, like this one. Know. We got it. what we got. We got Pokey. We are gonna do some film in there. PBLW and films. We are gonna film, document Big Pokey, Aussie uh, Boys, cause they coming down here September nineteenth. Um, for music and life. We got uh some coast to coast coming up. Coast to coast Dallas. We be down there. Um, I, November we're gonna be in Stanford, Texas. Then everything else in between, you know what I'm saying? I do do photography and DJ a little bit, so we got, I got a bunch of Sweet Sixteens and weddings coming up that I'm about to do. I did the booking on, catering on, gonna do the photography there, you know what I'm saying? Gonna shoot some film there. So I'm just grinding this everyday grind. We got radio station, we got Shade 45 coming up next week. We're gonna be on Shade 45. Once again, the song Lighters featuring Chris G. My well, name feature is actually featuring me, Chris G. Me, right, Chop a lot right, Productions. Right. Um, they little homie X, uh, he locked up, but the version we got is like a Texas mix. It got Pimp C on there. Okay. So, yeah, so, we'll be on yeah. there. And so, th tell me now, am I correct? This will be the second time you'll be on Shade 45, correct? So yeah, second time, part two coming up. The first time we was on there, Dirty Water. I love, they, I got nine hates, uh, five likes. You know what I'm saying? But, it, we be back on this time for lighters. Yeah, this part two. Then it's gonna be a part How did you three. feel? I, I mean, apparently you feel like it was a positive experience, but tell me what you gathered gathered out of the very first uh, Shade Forty Five interview. Can you take the pressure? Can you take criticism? Can you take people hating on you? Can you? Some people make you want to kill yourself. You gonna kill yourself or try to kill them? <laughs> but in a different way, business mind. Like they can talk about it. Um, can you take the heckling people caught, you know what I'm saying, can you just take the heat, can you take the pressure of the game, are you ready for it, like, you, you might think you, you might think you the shit, but you, to everybody else, you might not be nothing, you know what I'm saying, or you might have to prove yourself, so, somebody right. say something about you, or you gonna, ah, oh, go back and cry, or, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Or you gonna keep it pushing? Right. We gonna keep it pushing. Right. But it was it was like it was funny to me because me I don't take nothing. But if somebody say, feel, or think cannot affect me, as long as they don't put their hands on me. Yeah. So that, right. they can talk all day. That's real cool. But they ain't like this face to face. It's like you probably get trying to get your own shine in another level, but. You stick to it. If you're going to criticize the music, criticize the music. Not me personally. You don't know me personally. How you going to criticize me? Or if mo somebody might see me, oh, he black as hell. And that is, that's why his music sucks. But, okay, well, everybody knows, but what does that have to do with my music that I'm black? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> why don't you like the song? <laughs> yeah, 
right. So you like the song because I'm black skin, or you or you like the song because I'm fly? Yeah, I mean, you know, I I'm I'm one of the people that actually heard in the interview, and when I heard it, man, it it was funny because uh, it felt like some of those people they was they had so much emotion tied up in it, like they was. Like they, I don't know. Like they had something really invested in you, or yeah, something. Like I them dirty in the past. Or <laughs> they got paid to do that, or what? I mean, yeah, yeah that was one of Did those. Did we have things. a problem in two thousand and three? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool though, cause it, they got millions of viewers. So it's like, to me, it was a win. Even though I got five. Nine hates and five likes, it was still was a win for my team because all right, we the first in West Texas to be on Shade 45. And for two, it still was a win for me. Right. It's a good ratio. They got millions. It's a million people out there that like my stuff. So if they all gave me a dollar, I'm rich. Mm. I sell my city to y'all for a dollar, baby. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it pushing. It's marketing. Speaking of selling your CDs and... All of the things that you keep telling us about now. Tell us how how do how do the people go get these things? Lamizier.com. I mean, if you got iTunes, Google Play, um, Shazam, um, Spotify, Pandora, you can get all my music. Let me own one forever. Everything. Go in the number one F O R E V E R or Google. But go to my website Lamizier.com. L A M E A ZYA.com and you can go see my music, my photography, go directly to my site, see what I got going on daily, and then if you have any other apps or you can go get the music off of there. But you can go to CD, I got a CD Baby app on my website, you can go buy my singles there. My official launch should be 2014. I got a pregame album out right now called it's 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 called Bottle Pop City the Pregame and it's Three or four songs off of the each coming CD that I got coming up for the Bottle Pop CD one through three, okay. and I'm about to kill the CD with, make all the rap all the rappers have to step their game up. Let's see. Now, Period. what kind of uh, do you have any features or producers that you wanna mainly chop chop all on the, on the Bottle Pop CD is all chop a lot productions. Period. All Bottle Pop CDs, but the Champagne and Liquor soundtrack, that's Got everybody crazed, but yeah, I got. I don't really, I don't really do features unless somebody on the team. But I got a few secret features that won't pop up, man. I'm gonna do, but other than that, production on Bottle Pop City, Chop, Champagne and Liquor, got BCMA on there, Crazy, you know, the production on DJ Juggernaut, DJ Real, um, D Ice, um, and that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, is BCMA. They they gonna see what's up with that. Okay. Big Country Music Association. Be looking out for that 2015 too. We building right now the Big Country Music Association. We, we linked up all of the DJs, some of the artists, or some of the teams. Everybody in the city talking about ain't no unity. Don't nobody yeah. People are linked up around here, and it's the ones that's on that hate and um, on that scheme and plots to uh, diminish what's real. They ain't involved, so they feel like people in the city ain't really um, linked up. But there's a lot of people in this music linked up. There's a lot of artists messing with each other. So what everybody else talking about is irrelevant. Maybe you need to get with the program and find out what's really going on. Quit being selfish. All the artists quit being stubborn, acting like y'all made it. Acting like y'all bossed up and ain't. Acting like y'all didn't really did something. And try to really put on for real. That's what I got to say. If you got, an, if you an artist in Abilene and you talking all this big talk and you doing all this, but you got a regular job and what you say you run don't supply what you doing, man, you need to really just shut up and either try to find out what you need to do to come up for real, or stick to your nine to five in your life and quit trying to bring the hate and negativity towards what's real people over here doing that's positive. Pretty much. That stuff lame, really, and you know, all them really lame for that. Like, you can't have no competition in your city if nobody in your city is on. So, what competition? What competition are you really having? 
you want to give any uh, shout outs to any groups that you that you see doing moving in the same direction as yourself and, and your own one forever movement? Trial life. That's about trial life, my bro. Uh, shout out to like uh, first class. They be out there grinding. Uh, Home and hustle. Trial life is gonna be in the show here coming up, right? Yeah, they got a few shows. They might be in that big pokey, but they're gonna be yeah, they're gonna be in a couple more shows. Uh, you'll you'll be able to check that out. Matter of fact, uh, Music of Life episode seven, two weeks from now, <coughs> Monday. Um, is the Tribe Life Special Edition. Y'all get to see about Tribe Life. Y'all get to see when Kid Rich is the other half of Home One Forever down there in Midland. But yo, yeah, that's what pretty much it, man. I just kind of stick to my the team, man, really. So we just stay focused on that. I mean, shout out to everybody in the city that is doing something, though. Even, even the haters, shout out to everybody that's doing music, period. But just, man, don't step on my toes. <laughs> To keep my name out, you can keep my name in your mouth, good or bad, but just either way it go. Uh, Don't sing my boat, keep yours afloat. Yeah, keep it real, man. I ain't sitting around here hating on dudes, and I'm taking out of my time trying to make the lane and build the lane for these other artists. Really. So it's like, hey, what you want to do? You want to put on? You want to get on for real? You want to act like sick? People can be. The bit, uh, people can be Superman all day, but who gonna actually really be Superman? People can have dreams and oh uh, yeah, be Superman. I'm gonna really save the world. I'm gonna get a million dollars. Who really out there trying to get that million? Who really trying to be Superman? Uh, people live off fancy. Most people in Abilene, Texas, live off fancy. Abilene, Texas. Y'all better be ready. Cause Friday, September 19th. At La Nueva Luna, 1082 South 2nd, Wild Wild West ENT proudly presents SUC's own Big Pope. Performing that night from the legendary Southern Saucy, Mr. Mafioso. Let's go. The party starts at 7 p.m. $25 free sale tickets, $30 at the door. VIP also available. So make sure you grab everybody and tell anybody you know that Friday, September 19th at La Nueva Luna, 1082 South 2nd, SUC's own screwed up clicks own Big Pokey with Mr. Mafioso. Y'all better be there! Man, serious. Big Mafia, you know what I'm saying? Saucy Lab Records. Chilling in West Texas, Abilene. You know what I'm saying? Uh, finna get ready for the show September the 19th with SUC Big Pokey. You know what I'm saying? Myself, Mr. Mafioso, doing it. Doing it big, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. And uh, promoting a new uh, album, Hannibal. And the Thousand Gram projects that we're finna drop, man. You know what I'm saying? Finna do it big. It's going down.